So there's actually a number of controls and uh, little indicators that are going to show up in AutoCAD to help you work with annotative objects. The first thing you're going to have to remember when you're working with them is you're going to want to lock your viewports so that you don't accidentally change the scale of the viewport when you don't intend to. So notice that when I select my viewport border now, down here on the status bar I get a little lock icon and if I want to unlock the viewport, I can simply click on that lock icon to unlock it. Then to change the scale of the viewport, I don't want to just zoom in the viewport, but I want to come here on my status bar and change the annotation scale for that viewport. Well, Notice that when I change the annotation scale of that viewport, all the objects disappeared. All my annotative objects disappeared. So we may not want that to happen. Notice that adjacent to the annotation scale and that lock icon, I've got two new buttons. The first button right here that looks like a little uh, light bulb icon will let me change the visibility of annotative objects. So what that means is if the objects that are annotative in this viewport are not supposed to display at any other scale than the scale at which I created that viewport to display at, if I change the scale when that icon is turned off, all the annotative objects are going to disappear. And that's generally the behavior that I want. This other icon here with the little lightning bolt says that if I change the scale of the viewport, I want AutoCAD to automatically create new scale representations when I change the scale of the viewport. So if I change the scale of this viewport, let's say from eighth inch scale to quarter scale, all those objects are going to get recreated at quarter scale. Typically, I'm going to want to have this button turned on because that is the behavior I want. Now, if I know that I'm coming in and I'm only making changes to just do a what if, will the objects all fit in that viewport at a particular scale, then I might want to turn that button off temporarily while I rescale the viewport to make sure everything fits. Then I'll go back to my previous scale, turn that icon back on, and then rescale the viewport and let AutoCAD automatically recreate the new scale representations in that viewport. Now if I forgot to do that or I've got one object that got created at that scale that I don't want visible at that scale, here's where the other button comes into play because I can click on it and turn annotative objects on in this viewport whether they're supposed to be visible in that viewport or not. So now all the annotative objects, even those that weren't set to display at that scale, become visible. Now I can right click on this object right here, for example, that really is supposed to display in this viewport, but it's at the wrong size. And I'll right click on it and I'll tell AutoCAD to add the scale of this current viewport to its list of scale representations. Then I can turn this button back off so that, again, the viewport is only showing the annotative objects at the scale at which they should display and then notice that the object that I just changed so that it does display at that scale in this viewport is now visible. So the important thing to remember here is I've got the ability to turn annotative objects on and off in different viewports to have AutoCAD create new annotation displays in that viewport, but I can easily add scales or remove scales so I still have complete control over the way the objects display in the particular viewport.